Hello everyone and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. This tutorial, now that we've already explained a little bit about how GUIs work, we're going to explain how you can design them a little bit. So we're first going to just start by changing the color of this frame. We're going to do this, you use what are called color 3 values. Color 3 values are a lot like brick color, but they're better. Brick color, there's only 64 choices. These, the background color, the color 3 actually has three RGB values. You have your red, which has 256 values alone, your green, which has 256 values alone, your blue, which has 256 values alone. And 256 times, or 256 to the power of 3 is a really big number, but that's how many colors you can have, okay? So it's 256 times 256 times 256. That is how many um, different color possibilities there are. We're only going to go through a couple of them because you can always choose your own colors. So let's first just try changing the background color of this frame. So you can see there's a ton of colors here, but that's nowhere near as many as 256 times 256 times 256 would be. But they have this custom one, and this is where you can choose any color you could possibly think of. We're not going to use this because this is fairly straightforward, and if you don't understand it yet, I would just say go to the standard because there's plenty of colors to use here, and they actually work very well. So we're going to go with a blue. Let's find a blue I like. Uh, no, we'll go with red. Um, I like that red. Oh look, the whole thing just turned out to be red. So let's toy around with a couple other things. This border color, we're actually going to change border size pixel to zero because I actually don't like the idea of a one pixel border. It's just a nuisance and makes your GUI look... Um, like it's not really put together very well if you ask me now if it were a bigger one yeah, maybe maybe it'd be worth it but not this one so once we do that we can go down and we see position and size and I used these in the last tutorial but I never really told you what they did uh, but I'm gonna fix that now so position position right here I uh, will expand this and we'll expand each of these X and Y and I will go over this. So position is fairly simple. Uh, not really. <laughs> I, uh, let's just look at the X real quick. We see there's two values for the X position. Now if you know anything about coordinate for, um, coordinate planes you know there's one x value and one y value for a specific point. But there's two x values and two y values here. Now, the reason for this is because there's one called scale, sorry, scale, and one called offset. Scale literally is like a percentage without a percent sign. You use decimal spaces like this would be 20% rather than this this won't sorry it's not letting me there we go this is 20 percent but they won't accept that they only accept decimal places so hopefully you guys can figure that out um one would be equivalent to 100 zero would be equivalent to zero percent uh and so forth so um I can't really think of much else to say about that. But offset is just the pixel amount. So pixels might be even harder uh, to grasp. Because you should... Uh, I actually never finished with scale. Hold on. So scale, it's percentages of how large the screen that Roblox has is taking up. So right now, the fact that I have the position at 0% and 0 offset means the very top... Or the very top off, sorry. The very left, because we're only working with the X uh, right now. And X is horizontal. So, 
we're only working it, it, zero zero means the very left which is hopefully simple enough for you guys to understand let me just okay um this is gonna help a little bit with people that might be in a bit more advanced um math courses so imagine a coordinate plane and you've got your four quadrants you've got the top right quadrant the top left quadrant the bottom left quadrant and the bottom right quadrant and uh... But when you're dealing with 2d planes in most every computer thing you only deal with the bottom right quadrant making this top left part here zero zero um, it's the origin as it's called and uh, you never really deal with any of the other quadrants so oh I just accidentally clicked something we'll get back over to this side now back to the positions alright so scale is how much percent of my screen so if I went and I put in 0.5 percent which is 50 percent you'd see half of my screen has no GUI half of mine does because I moved it over that far we're gonna put it back at this though so as you can see at the very left of my screen we've got this red thing now at offset we're going now offset is like I said how many pixels over how many individual pixels so if I put 0.5 here you can't even see that but if I put 50, you can see that pretty well because it's 50 pixels over. And that is apparently how large 50 pixels is uh, in my screen and such. So, 50 pixels. Hope that, again, is easy enough for everybody. Um, so, offset and scale work that way. Now, what if we tried to combine them? What if. What if I said, you know what, and yes, you can use negative values. What if I wanted to use negative, oh, I can't, you guys can't see this. What if I wanted to use negative 0.2? So this is 2% um, over to the left, actually. It's actually moving left. So negative 2%. But what if I wanted to add 50 pixels? What if I wanted to be negative 2%, but make sure I also have 50 pixels? Well, I could. Or, ooh, that's 500. It just works like that um, the scale and the offset will add together uh, when it works I'll, I think hold on let me see something yes they work to, they add together so we've got the X down now if we go to this Y let's do the same thing here scale let's go 0.5 as you can see, half, the top half of my screen has no GUI, the bottom half does. And if I go to offset and I change it to 50 pixels again, 50 pixels of my screen has no GUI because I've positioned it 50 pixels down. And remember, Y is the up and down vertical alignment. And I've spent a lot of time just covering these, what are called UDIM2 uh, values. UDIM2 is the name Roblox gave for their GUI coordinate basing. So whenever I say UDIM2, just know I'm talking about this kind of um, positioning or scaling. Now size works with UDIM2 as well, and except instead of where the top left corner of your GUI is, it worries more about how big. So if I change this Y scale to 0.5, you'd see the top left of my GUI is still right here. It's not all the way up here or something, but half of the GUI isn't there anymore. And that's because we're only taking up half of my screen. Size, or offset works the same way. So if I went negative 50, you'd see 50 gone here. Change that back to zero. And X, same thing. Now you don't see it and stuff. And if I change this offset, oh, whoa, that scale needs to be 1. 1, by the way, like I said, is 100%. So it's taking up the entire X scale. And we'll change this to negative 50. And you'll see 50 pixels 
not clear. So this has been a long tutorial to get virtually nowhere. <laughs> if you ask me. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.